What is Tesla worth? Yeah, um, I mean, our price target is is a, is a quite a bit below where um, right uh, where, where the where the offer was was taking place. Um, look, I think in in many respects this comes down to. Um, a, a, a funding uh, decision. If, if if Elon has the some committed funding, um, as as he claimed in his initial tweet, um, you know, then then the deal you know could go through. What we have some doubts about is is uh, maybe the sources of that funding. I don't think traditional lenders would really sign up to support right. the deal given the financials. So, we, in our view, there has to be some significant outside funding lined up. And that means almost an equity investment. I mean, this is not an analysis of traditional corporate debt versus the high yield space. It's really about a, a huge multi billion dollar eg- equity plug in, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good way uh, to, to to assess it. And and look, I think there's there's some deep pockets out there, right? Um, there was a, re- a report yesterday that um, the Saudi sovereign fund took a stake. Um, I mean, that's a potential another source. There's there's obviously a lot of cash rich tech companies out there. Um, there's a bunch of capital over in China, and, and clearly some large VCs as well that that have some some capital to throw around. Um, so it, you know, it it really comes down to uh, them believing in Tesla's you know much longer term vision. Joseph, how would you describe the relationship between Elon Musk and the analysts that cover Tesla? And do you think that Tesla would just be better off being private? Yeah, look, I, I mean, obviously, a couple quarters ago, there was a little bit of a, of a, of a, rough, of a rough patch, I think, between Elon and, and, and the street um, that seemed to have, uh, you know, been somewhat assumed, soothed over um, uh, the past quarter. But the you know i think the company does seem um a little bit preoccupied with um uh the 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 short thesis and, and some of the detractors um and look there obviously when you're a public company there can be some quarter to quarter variations and 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 a much longer term metric is 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 better uh, means to 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 think about the the trajectory of a company um, right. But the timing here is a, a, a little bit suspect, right? Because he did on the last quarter call come out and say um, that Tesla will be profitable from here on out. Um, which, if that's true, that seems to probably throw a, a whole bunch of water on, on the bear case. Right, but at the same time, if you know they, they still they're burning through cash, right? Um, there are execution problems. Does bringing it private deal with that? Um, well, I mean, I, I think uh, you know, being private, um, if you have some you know quarter to quarter variation and execution issues, that certainly being able to do that out of the public limelight could be could be helpful, right? Uh, you, you sort of remove maybe some of the artificial barriers of, of the of the quarter end dates, and, and something could sort of slip into uh, you know the next week or so. Um, so, so I think that part um, is fair, but really, in, in, in the grand scheme of things, uh, what this comes down to is. Uh, execution over the long term should should win out, um, and um, you know so um, certainly being private will 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 hide some of the that sort of variation, yeah. um, but over the long term shouldn't really matter.